Okay, today I'm going to uh, <clears throat> review the Condition 1 utility case, and I'm going to compare it with the Storm IM27 Pelican case that I've had for a while. You can get both of these. You can, you can get this uh, Condition 1 case with rollers like this one. Um, the prices are comparable. The Pelican is a little bit more expensive, but th that's about it. Not much more. So anyway, the first thing I want to I want to show is the different sizes in the pins that hold the latches on. This is the Pelican side, and you can see that's a very big, very nice size pin. And then this is the Condition One pin. <laughs> you can see it's anemic. Uh, so the pins on this are are a lot smaller than a Pelican. Uh, same thing for the back hinge. You can see the difference, how small that is compared to how big this is. And you can see how robust these hinges are compared to these right here. They're a little bit less robust. They're very well gusseted, but then so are these. So, uh, pins are smaller. The handle pins are about the same. Uh, this handle here, is very big and wide. This handle on the Pelican is less wide, but it's rubber coated. They're about the same width. They feel pretty good, both of them. I like this one better. Okay, and we'll be right back and look at a couple more things. So the next thing is how the cases keep themselves uh, from being flexible when they're closed and slipping around. The uh, Condition 1 uses these pins, these little plastic pins here, and they go down to these holes. And there are six of them on here, two on each side and two on the front. And they have their corresponding holes that they go into. The Hardy case doesn't use pins, it uses tongue and groove. It uses these gigantic toothed pieces of plastic that rise up here about a quarter of an inch or so, three or uh, three sixteenths, I don't know. And then they go into these things right here, all the way inside of these things. That's about a quarter of an inch. And that's how they do that. There's four of them on each side here. And then there's a big lip on the front of this also. And this goes down on top of it, further helping it not slide around because of this big lip here. So that's how they do that. You have the pins, these little plastic pins that go down in here, versus these big, huge tongue and groove toothed. You know, these, these really robust looking anti-flex, uh, the anti-flex system they have in here. The Condition 1 case comes with foam. It has six of these layers, which is a really good choice, I think. Instead of, you know, one or two or none, these are, that's a really good choice. There's, there's six of them in here. Uh, this isn't really high density foam, but it's about what you'd get with a Pelican, you know. I don't know how well it's going to tear. Uh, some people have reviewed and said it doesn't tear very well. Uh, but it's about the same density, and you don't want it to be really, really dense where you just defeat the purpose of trying to protect something if this case is dropped off an airline baggage uh, transporter or something like that. You want it to be at least a little bit of soft and give, and that's about right. There's six of those in there. That's good. And then there's a final one on the bottom. It's about a half an inch just for a padding, and it's padded in the top. That's a good choice. Okay, so we're gonna look at the fit and the finish here. This is the how the, uh, the uh, Condition 1 case fits. Uh, you can even move this a little bit with your hands. It flexes a little bit. This fits all the way down. Uh, it's nice and clean all the way around. There's no, the space between, there isn't any space, but it's, the little seam here is just perfect. And this has been halfway around the world several times. This one is, uh, you can see the, the insulation in it, or the uh, seal. Uh, I don't, it's just designed that way. It doesn't mean it's gonna leak or anything, but uh, it just doesn't inspire a lot of confidence to me. I don't like that. So I say the last, uh, I think, which is a design flaw. And like I said, I don't, I don't like these. I don't like this seam how it fits here. And this pin right here only fits down inside here, about oh, it looks to me like about 
three sixteenths, maybe a quarter of an inch. That's it. That's all you get. Uh, and all the other stuff I went over. So anyway, this is the last thing that this would cause me to not to not own this case, this condition one case here, because uh, as I don't do it anymore, but I used to be a professional photographer and I used to take my photography equipment, accessories and things like that in this case right here. And uh, this is the this is the non-starter for me. This is the this is the showstopper. So on the Pelican case, this won't come up at all. It doesn't matter how many times it's hit, it won't come up unless you press this in the middle and then you lift up on it. This right here does not have that, it's backwards. This just flips up, there's nothing holding it down. So if you're on the airline or you're having it transported or something and it gets stuck under another piece of baggage or what have you, it's just gonna pop up and you, you can't shut it unless you hit it in the center here. You have to push that down, which is okay. But it's backwards. I don't, I don't need to think about whether or not I wanna latch it. I know I wanna latch it. But I want, I want to, I need to know that it's not going to come unlatched, and this doesn't do that. Anything can get underneath here in transportation, and it's gone. It opens up. So uh, that's a that's a that's a deal breaker for me. Again, the difference is this one does not come up unless you actually tell it to come up. This one does not go down unless you tell it to go down, but it'll come up just like that. There's nothing holding it, down. and that's the showstopper for this case. Uh, the other thing is, I just think, in my opinion. But the Pelican case is built better than the Condition 1 case. That's my opinion. I also have a feeling that this plastic here is a little bit softer than this plastic. But I can't test that. And that's about it.